I never learn my lesson, do I? This is my car. You know where it is? It's in my driveway. You know where it should be? Driving around the trash picking route. Cause it's noon already. I gotta learn how to get out of bed. My friend just called me. He's already finding all the good stuff. Let's get down there. See if we can scoop up some dregs. All right, it is late and there's a lot of piles out and I don't know what I missed, but I'm not gonna dwell on it because look at this beautiful bike right here. It's uh, aluminum. It's got dual suspension. It's even got a built-in deluxe headlight. But I think that this bike may not necessarily be for us. Nice snow blower. It's probably good for scrap metal. I don't know, it might still work. Yeah, this is a big grimy pile. It's an interesting pile, but it is not for me. So let's go find, what do we, what do we want to find today? Bikes, electronics, scrap metal, all of the above. I like what I see in this pile. Look at these Duralast boxes. Oh, there's some metal for you. Drive axles. And look at this thing. The crazy Sanyo boombox. Some of these old boomboxes are worth money. This probably, I bet this is worth like 27 bucks maybe. It's not that big. But it's, it's in good condition. The antenna's not broken or anything. All right. Let's see what else we have in this gorgeous pile. The hell? The National Radio Institute Discovery Lab? All right. A horrible old Dell laptop. We'll take that. I don't know what this is. It's like an emergency box. A teddy bear in a bag. Isn't it going to suffocate in there? Fish tape, flashlight, electrical stuff. Another one of those screwdrivers that never works. A Canon remote control. Whoa! Everready rechargeable battery. So this is a little secret from me to you. Sometimes old batteries can be worth money. Like this battery might be worth 10 bucks, even though it's dead. We got wire. I don't think we need the muffler. Back of this pile. What do you think was on top of here? Pans. And that's just some coax in there. Actually, no. Bike parts, shifters. All right. I'm going to go through this pile, take everything that's good, and then uh, catch up with you in a second. So check that out. We got some wires. We got the three axles. And then in here, got some CDs from across the street. And you got your boom box and your other stuff. And even some of these sanding discs. That's a pretty good first score. And then the neighbor right up the street put out this water boiler. With this big piece of pipe on it. I think we can get that off. Oh, look at that. Came right off. It's kind of a weird piece of footage because I'm trying not to smash the camera with the pipe. And that's it. Well, I think we can go home because we've found scrap metal and we've found electronics and now we've found bicycles two Bianchis. They're a little bit crusty, but they will absolutely do. Now let me stop recording in these people's yard before they shoot me or something. These bikes were probably stored in a damp environment because they have a lot of crustiness on all the parts. Handlebars are rusty, but the frames are great. The frames are pretty much spotless. Look at this lugged Bianchi mountain bike frame. You don't find a lot of lugged mountain bikes. This one's TIG welded. So I'm sure we can do something for these. Let's see. 
you know, that's got Tonga tubing on it. Yeah, these are pretty decent bikes. And I've only been here like 20 minutes, so I'm very excited now. This is a cute little pile. It's got the expert grill. Wow. And these little speakers are like a ripoff of the Minima 7. They actually were sold by Radio Shack, according to the decal. Not bad little speakers, but I got too many speakers. The cheapest file cabinet I've ever seen in my life. Look at this, it's like a tin can. A couple of baseball bats. Is that a good baseball bat? Easton? It looks pretty good. It's not all beat up either. Keystone softball? We'll take those. Some baskets, coat hangers. But yeah, we'll take these bats. I can't, you know, probably a couple bucks worth, right? There are so many new piles that I just don't know what's what right now. I don't know who's dug through them, who hasn't. But I do know that under here, there's some really interesting looking audio gear. You ever see anything like this in Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi? Like, is this a cheap component system or is this something high end? Cassette deck. I think we're gonna grab that stuff. What else do we got? Eh. Bird cage. Xmas lights work. Oh my god, we got blow molds. Are they broken? No, they're not even brittle. They're very robust below molds. I don't really know like Bible stuff, but I think this is Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. Here is, I think it's like one of those hamburger presses for barbecuing. Wow, this pile's got everything. All right, let's get everything loaded up and uh, tidy up and move on. That guy was very interesting. He told me that this amplifier got fried in a lightning storm, but we're not gonna worry too much about that because I sell every electronic thing as is anyway. Today we were looking for electronics, bikes, and scrap metal and not blow molds, but these blow molds are probably worth like a hundred bucks, so I'll sell them to my friend for 20. There is no way that these are what I hope they are. Look at these planters. Yeah. See, I thought these might be um, cast iron. They're not, they're fiberglass. See, the problem with these fiberglass ones, they're actually pretty nice, but once they break, there's not really much you can do. The one's totally destroyed, the other one's like cracked at the bottom, so no planters for us. But they were nice to look at though. For some reason today, I have not been collecting vacuum cleaner cords, but that's all about to change right now with this vacuum cleaner cord. I've cut it, I'm cutting the plug. I was cutting the plug at a place called The Jug with a girl named Linda Lou. Look at that cord. Yeah, that's what we need. 468 more of those and we'll have 20 bucks in scrap metal. Woo! So those planters were broken fiberglass, but these ones, wow. That is a nice thing. And there's two of them. And this one doesn't even look broken. Oh no, it is. That sucks. See, check that out. That's like totally smashed up. And the other one's like kind of broken on the bottom. You know what? I think I'm not gonna take the risk that somebody doesn't wanna buy that because it's broken, so I will leave it here. It's a nice thing though. The one good thing about yesterday was the lighting was so much better. This camera's not that great when it's uh, not sunny. Let's see what we have here. A forehead VCR. I think forehead is better than two head, but this thing's just beat up. 
rained on and whatnot. Health and welfare benefits. Uno Disco. Edie Gourmet. All right. Look at that. I used to take a tape recorder like this from Radio Shack to school every day back in like 1979. Blah, 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 blah. Magic cooler. Sometimes these old coolers are cool. No pun intended, but this one's, I don't know, just a little bit too roached. In here... Principles of Microeconomics. Maybe I'll read that. Man and woman, boy and girl. Differentiation and dimorphism of gender identity from conception to maturity. I don't know, that's mildly interesting to me. Empty guitar cases. All right, I'm really just trying to make something out of this pile, but let's face it, this pile kind of sucks. But I will try and read these books, maybe. So what do we have here? Pressure washer still has the cord on it. We love those. Uh, bicycle that's been painted, a bunch of different colors, and the crank arm and pedal are on the ground. Those are nice looking pedals. I might take those, and a bunch of scrap metal car parts and whatnot. All right, I guess we can work with that. See what we can grab. This bucket of metal weighs a ton, so I'm gonna dump it into the trunk and see what's in it. Some very wet brake rotors. Wow. I've never seen blue, wet, moldy brake rotors before. Those are fantastic. the best scrap metal I've ever found in my life. I mean, today anyway. This pile has one thing in it, so I don't know if that makes it a pile or just a thing. Five other pickers drove by it. I'm gonna say it's not brass. Well, it's brass. How much does that weigh? Probably weighs like two or three pounds, but five other pickers drove by a brass light fixture. All right, that's a little weird, but I'll take it. Let's see what's in this pile. All right, a couple of air conditioners. We used to be obsessed with air conditioners. We used to pick up tons of them. Ooh, this is a good thing. An Olympic curling bar. You think we'll find some Olympic plates by the end of the day? A pickaxe for scrap metal. A chair for nothing. Isn't that adorable? The Ross Eurosport. Yeah, kind of worthless though. Back here, we got two bikes. This is the Royce Union Ozone MT2. Where did they come up with these names? And here is the Colorado. I really don't know. And then check this thing out. It's another one of these receiver hitches. That's got to be like 30 pounds of metal. All right, I'm gonna scoop up some of these goodies and then we'll, I, well, I guess that's, that's the conclusion of this pile is me scooping up these goodies off camera, sorry. I'm feeling a little too cocky because I found a lot of stuff so far. So let's, do a, let's look through a pile that's maybe uh, gonna be disappointing. Wow, this thing's crazy though. 11 horsepower generator. Wish I could take that for scrap. I mean, I, theoretically I could, but it's a little too much disassembly. Uh, check this out. Deluxe Scrabble. That used to be a pretty valuable game. Now it's not. Uh, yeah, I think this pile has brought me right back down to earth. I was riding high, riding high. Now I'm swinging low. Look at this bag though. It's like a pleather garment bag to put your pleather coat inside. That's cool. 
All right, let's go find a pile that's maybe a little bit better than this. One more look at this generator, though. You know I want to take that off for scrap, but I'm just going to leave it. Normally in this business, when you find a tractor, it's a tractor. This is a pile of tractor parts. You got your seat, you got your rear end and your chassis, you got whatever that big plastic thing is, you got your rear fenders, your hood, your lower deck, your steering wheel. I mean, what do you think this was, like a restoration project gone wrong? There's definitely some metal here for me. Some of these things I can take. But wow. Here's your engine. That's a big engine. A couple of bucks worth of dirty aluminum. These people really went to town on this mower, but I guess they didn't come back from town and put it back together. That's all right. It's easier for me to take. We definitely got scrap metal today. We definitely have bikes. I didn't show you this beach cruiser. My friend just gave me that. Let's find some more electronics. I mean, more than the stereo and the boombox and the laptop. I don't know, maybe we don't need to find any more. Can, can we just go home? Oh, hell no. It's not even two in the afternoon. I'm not going home yet. I've been hearing some weird noises coming from the car. I think this bike fell off the bike rack a little bit. Now, normally before I head home on the highway, I will lash these things to the bike rack, but when I'm just tooling around these uh, the roots, I just use the Velcro. Wow. That was a failure of the Velcro. Let's, uh, let's wire them up. I think what happened is this beach cruiser kind of slides down the bike rack. The bike rack's a little tweaked. I ended up pushing this mountain bike like right off the rack. I think I need a new bike rack. I know I have a few at home, so maybe I'll use one of those, or maybe I'll find another one here today. But this bike rack has probably hauled more than its fair share of bikes. It's about time to replace it, I guess. The bikes seem to be hanging in there. This is kind of surprising, this pile, because I saw a picker here earlier, and that was at least an hour or two ago. But this pressure washer still has the cord on it. I think. I think that's the cord. Yeah, because you got your your hose, which is thicker, and your cord, which is thinner. So for some reason, nobody picked the nobody cut the cord off this thing yet. That's good for me. Anything else she left behind? Nah, nothing really. She was taking a grandfather clock though. But that's not something I would take, but it's a pretty good thing. So I'll cut that cord. Thank you, picker lady, for not cutting it before I got here. Maybe I'll take this funnel too. It's a unique little funnel. See? It costs a dollar at Dollarama. Right, let's cut this cord. Look, it's a little piece of wire in a tin. That's an adorable little piece of wire. It weighs nothing. It's worth nothing, but I can put it in the big bucket of wire along with all the other wire, including this wire that I'm using to tie the bikes onto the rack, and eventually all that wire will add up. I cheated a little bit on this pile because there were people going by, so I didn't want to start recording. So I opened this bag, which I normally don't do, because it's taped, but in here, you can see some shapes. And they felt like old 10-inch records, but they're not, they're just books. I found this wire in there. The reason I wanted to come to this pile in the first place is this glass jug, but it turns out it's broken. It's the first time I ever saw one of those that's broken. Baby seats. These things are super cool. These are like flagger, uh, flagger lamps. I will definitely take these. And a stereo that I don't really want. And I opened this box already because I had a label on it. It's this simplex fire alert system. That's really cool. So yeah, I, I did a little, while I was waiting for the people to like walk by, I did a little 
preparatory exploring, so this isn't quite as spontaneous as uh, some of the other piles. But neat stuff nevertheless. We got our little flagger lanterns and our fire alarm and no go on the, uh, the water jug. All right, let's move on. And maybe the next one will be a little bit more honest. I've gotten to the point in the day where it's really slow. It's like a lull. I'm starting to drift. I mean, not drift like skidding out in my car, but just drifting mentally, not really paying attention. So I almost didn't see that battery. And I almost didn't see the vacuum cleaner over there that had the cord on it either. Let's go cut that. This vacuum cleaner looks pretty good. But it also looks like somebody vacuumed up a bush with it. So I feel no guilt about cutting the cord off of it. And I want to show you something else that's really sweet. See this bucket of wire right here? This bucket of wire was on a main road, like a 45 mile an hour zone without a shoulder. So I drove by it twice. And then later my friend said, oh, I got something for you. And it was this bucket. He stopped at that pile and he picked that up for me. Isn't that sweet? See, treat people right, they'll treat you right. I think we're doing okay here. But uh, yeah, it's getting a little, getting a little late. I'm losing focus. So this pile has some cool speakers in it. Check out these bad boys. They're really big. They are by Sirwin Vega. And they're a little rough around the edges, but all the components are pretty decent. I think that's like a 15 inch woofer. And, uh, you know, they got these nice sturdy handles on them. I think these are like for PA systems, that kind of thing. These are the V30. But I already looked these up and they're just not really... The amount of size versus the amount of money I could get for them, probably not worth it. So, a little disappointing. And then here's one of these ion turntables. That's all busted up. We're in like a dead-end little cul-de-sac right now, but look at this absolutely beautiful electrical motor pump thing. We can take that just as scrap, I guess. And then that's some kind of burner. Then we got old ski boots. Beckett quality parts. I think this guy must have been like a plumber, HVAC or something. Yeah, I think that's what that is. We don't need that. Anything in here? Let's see, can we even open it? Best grout? Do we need some grout? Nah, we don't need any grout. But we definitely need this pump and motor. That is so sweet. All right, I hope it fits in the trunk. That thing was pretty heavy, but it looks like it fits. It's just hard to close the trunk because of this Schwinn. There we go. Bikes are looking pretty good. They haven't fallen off yet. Look, it's a secret hidden brake rotor in the trees. Actually, two of them. I'm blocking the whole street right now, so I hope nobody comes down this road, but... That was a pretty good spot. I almost didn't see those. And there they go, right in the corner of the trunk. Here's one of my favorite things to find. I have a lot of favorite things to find, by the way. Sash weights. Like for old fashioned windows. These would go inside the window frame. There'd be a rope on a pulley and that's how your window goes up and down. These things are cast iron. They weigh about, I don't know, five pounds a piece. Six pounds, something like that. 
So they're not really worth much, but you can put them inside a piece of pipe. I'm going to forget about that tomorrow. It's going to fall out. Let's see, we got our sash weights. What else? Birdhouse, chair, giant pink beanbag chair. Wow. I wish I had one of those in my house. Nothing else here really, but the sash weights are more than enough. My other, other favorite thing to find is like garden tools, implements. This shovel, I don't know probably got some life in it if you grind down the blade a little bit same with this one and then this thing this is a pitchfork I think for hay and a lot of the time one of the tines will be broken off look at the handle on that it's not all wood but it is really cool looking so we will take all of those and see how this says DSNY? That probably means it was like, you know, the Department of Sanitation or something. New York City, garbage man use it. I don't know. Cool stuff though. The guy who bought the last couple of these typewriters that I had doesn't want any more typewriters. But I don't know. Does that mean I shouldn't take it? I still think this is like 50 bucks on eBay. So I'm gonna take it anyway. The very worst, a couple of dollars worth of scrap. It's an IBM Selectric 2. Right there on the curb for me and you. I'm now in another town where bulk pickup has been canceled for a while. But my friend told me that these two pressure washers were out here. And so we are going to cut the cords and hope that nobody gets mad about that. These are kind of rough anyway, but they zip tied the hose to it, and now the cord is like... Alright, I'm going to have to do this off camera, hold on. Pressure washers have great cords, but they're usually a pain in the butt, and these were no exception. Well, one of them was a pain in the butt. The other one was really easy. But that was nice of my friend to tell me that these were here. And I only had to drive like two miles out of my way to get them, so... Is that, is that worth it? It's like twilight time right now. Bumping into people. There's nothing going on really. Look at this TV. Old, but it works. That's a big TV. I think if I had a truck, I'd take that home with me. Some kids toys. I'll take this. It's Tonka, right? It's like plastic Tonka, but I'll take it. Mm, maybe not. New bright, nah. So, one Tonka truck. You know, it's getting a little, not dark, but light's going down, so I think maybe this will be the last pile. So, I want to say I do appreciate you guys coming along with me and uh, checking out the piles today. It's been a pretty fun day. Not a very lucrative day, but pretty fun anyway. So until next time, thanks so much for watching.